Matilda talked to the little rooster Teeny Tuca about the competition, and before the training session, she decided to stop by the kitchen to prepare a special smoothie for him, a broccoli and milk smoothie. When the little rooster Teeny Tuca saw the broccoli and milk beside the blender, he was scared already and asked, "Matilda, are you sure I have to drink this broccoli and milk smoothie?" "Yes, you do," replied Matilda. "You must drink it up so you can grow strong and run just like Stutter Rooster. Imagine it's a greenish chocolate smoothie. Please drink it up." The day wore on. And soon it was practice time. Paco came back from school, and he immediately went to help Matilda train Teeny Tuca. Let's go, Teeny Tuca! You can do it! I bet you can! On your marks, get set, go! Said Matilda. That's it, Teeny Tuca! You can do it! Said Paco. While Matilda and Paco were training Teeny Tuca. Lily and her mother, Mrs. Flora, went to town to buy Stutter Rooster's medicine. As they were leaving the drugstore, the bank manager, Mr. Tony Black, came to speak with them. Good afternoon, Lily and Mrs. Flora. <laughs> Who is sick on the rag farm, Mr. Willie or Paco? Asked Mr. Tony Black. Good afternoon, Mr. Tony Black. Neither of them is sick. It's Stutter Rooster. He got sick, and we came to town to buy him some medicine," answered Mrs. Flora. "So, Stutter Rooster is not racing tomorrow?" asked Mr. Tony Black. <laughs> "No, he's not racing, sir. Now we have to go. Bye, bye," said Mrs. Flora. Mr. Tony Black was a very mean man. He didn't like animals, and he enjoyed seeing people unhappy. Besides. Mr. Tony Black was the owner of the bank to which the rag farm had a huge debt to pay.